Good afternoon, everyone. This is Melissa with the Stockswish.com, and welcome. Welcome to Groupon. Groupon is a beautiful golden gap. This was a bearish gap today. This is my top watch. This is what I did, and I didn't do anything else. It's a beautiful, beautiful trade. If it breaks 830, then it has, it's going to drop all day, actually. So it's really around that 830 area. That's the number. That's the number that it has to break to keep going further, and it could just drop all day into the close, actually. This is lower Monday, too. Lower next week as well. So Groupon was a really nice trade and a very good gap, and why? One of the reasons why I think this is so interesting to look at here is because there were many higher highs and higher lows in Groupon here prior to the gap. Let's look at them. Stock rallied up here, came down and pivoted, rallied up here, came down and pivoted, held in the 50 per moving average of 20, the 8, and the 200, made a higher high. Came down here, held support, gapped up, ran up and made a higher high, made a higher low, made a higher high, gapped up, gapped up and held, ran up and made another higher high, higher low, gapped up again here. And it's making a series of higher highs and higher lows all around in here. So as a result of this, many people are convinced that the stock is back up in an uptrend. But guess what? It's not. Groupon is not in an uptrend. Groupon is in a downtrend. Okay. And Groupon should never have been bought anywhere in here. And even though Groupon gapped down today, Groupon could have gapped down to four or five bucks today. And anyone that bought this whole rally here could have been down and lost all the profits that they would have made in that rally. The issue is with stocks, when you buy something that's in the incorrect trend, trying to buy the down gaps, trying to buy stuff into support, trying to buy stuff to, you know, just get it in a gap fill or whatever you want to call it. If you're against the trend in an overall larger term time frame of a chart and a stock, at any moment in time, it can go against you. And it can go against you big time. Look, this is going to make new lows in here. Yeah, it's going to break 830. This is really something. I'm all out of this now, but this is a great, great, great trade. It was a great trade today. Uh, so anyways, if you are up, for example, say you bought this in here. You're convinced this is a great trade. You love it. You're going to make a million dollars. You buy in here at five, you're up. You're actually up. Almost eight dollars. You're happy. You think this is fantastic. You love it. You think it's going back all the way up to make new highs this year with the market. So you do not get out of the trade. You have eight dollars profit, and you're thinking I'm up so much. I'm, I don't need to get out of any of this right now. But then the stock gaps down, gives back the eight dollar profit. Actually, is now through the price. We're actually down money. Okay, and that's where you have to then come in with money then to the broker. We have a margin call. Or you end up giving back way too much profit in the trade. If you were in this at four or five and you bought it there and you were up eight bucks, you just gave back half of your profit today. You get back 50% of the profit today, actually. Why? Because the, to buy this ever was a bad trade. It was a bad trade to buy it. It's not about the fact that you were up eight dollars if you bought this here. It's not about that. I could say, well, I could have made a million dollars doing this. I could have made a million dollars doing that. I could have gone short here. I could have gone long here. It's not about that. It's about taking good quality trades where you can consistently feel like you're making money because you're, what you're doing works. It's solid and you don't have to lose sleep at night. If I would ever buy something that's against the trend of stock like this, I wouldn't be able to sleep at night. Every morning I get up and I'd be looking at it, expecting it to take me out and lose. I would never take a trade like this. And yet people did. People did. People do. People do it all the time. People constantly paid against, trade against the trend. The biggest reason is that they read trends wrong because they think the pivots hold. But the reality is that a trend is not set by pivots. It's not. If it was, then every higher high and higher low and series of higher highs and higher lows would hold and be able to be bought and kept and solid with stops and pivots. And you could trade like that. And if we all traded like that, no one would lose. And no one would make any money, though, because no one would lose. So it would be idiotic to trade. But it doesn't work. And if you've ever tried to trade like that or trading right now like that, you know it doesn't work. It doesn't work consistently. It doesn't work because it just doesn't work. And something works good when it works consistently. Consistently. That's the great thing about what I have figured out here in my gap rating. Let's talk about this today. My rating system reads the price of a chart of a stock. And that's why it is so good and why it works. I'm reading price. And price is the only thing you should be looking at when you're trading. And nothing more. Price is an indicator that's telling you something that's more than anything else of anything else you can look at. It's in the candlestick, but the candlestick is really just the indicator of the price. It's the price that you need to see and that you need to know. Look at this. This is going to keep going. It's making me low right now. Fabulous. This is so great. Anyways, it's the price that tells you if something's good. You read it in a gap. You rate the gap. It's like an art form to learn how to read charts like this because it is not something that you can just use based on pivots. 
If you were trading like that, then you're probably not seeing a high level of consistency to make money. And by all means, I, and I, I, I've, more than ever I've seen this now, it is so easy to make money if you have something that works and is good. It is so easy to make money trading gaps for me now. I, can, I can't even put it into words. I just see things so clearly before they happen and in the live moment that it, this is real. It is a real way to consistently make money. It, it happens so often. It is so real. It is so perfect. It is so great. This is, just, this is just the most fun thing I've ever done for a job in my life. I just love reading this stuff, and I love the numbers, and I love the price, and I love the way it works. So, you know, if you don't see these types of charts in this manner, you have to learn how to read them in a different way. Because this idea of reading things in the incorrect direction will, will kill your account. It'll hurt your trading, and you've got to learn how to do things right. The interesting thing about Groupon and why I like it so much is that, you know, it was a highly rated graph, number one. And number two, it worked right out of the gate, which I always love. And it makes your day in a very short period of time. And we've seen this happen so often lately that it's just been fantastic. Trading takes a level of discipline because when you don't get a gap that you like or you don't get a trade that you want to do, you need to just stay put and not trade that day. But days like today when you get such beautiful, beautiful moves like this in Groupon and such great entries and, the, and just everything confirmed and it just goes and works perfectly really helps you to stay focused and disciplined in what you do and believe in your strategy and believe in the market as a source of income to pay you. It's only about just taking more size to make more money. And you can't do that unless you know what to do and how to read charts right. And you actually have to have a strategy that works and gaps do. And the art form comes from the finessing of reading the price correctly, which is how I look at the point rating system. The, the 26 point rating system tells me what to watch and look for. And then I get the setup and I take it and that's the confirmation. I don't need another confirmation on the day because then that would be a third confirmation. So I'm aggressive when I trade on the live day because the setup and the way the price trades and I see the price action, that's the confirmation. The gap tells me what to do. And I could actually take it pre-market if I wanted to because I know the gap is good when I see the gap and I range it in over 20 points. But then the, the confirmation on the live day, the price action, how it sets up in trades, Get, that's the confirmation, and then I take the trade. So whether it's a 9.30 or 9.31 anymore, if the price is confirming it and it sets up and it triggers, it's good. You don't need to wait after that because then you're just waiting for a third confirmation that's silly, then you missed a trade and you missed the good entry, and then you don't get the right risk to reward. It was a great risk to reward trade today. Uh, this is even lower still now. As I'm talking right now, it's making new lows, and it's six cents for breaking 30. And if the stock breaks 30 today, it'll fall into the close. Uh, it could break $8. And if it doesn't break $8 today, I think it continues next week either way. So it is very important to understand what's going on in these charts when you're looking to take a trade. And Groupon here, many, many people thought was in an uptrend, and it wasn't. And that's one of the reasons that it's so important to understand what you're doing when you take overnight positions. Here it is. Just, here, let's see if it breaks 30. I mean, I'm not in this anymore, but this is, you could, you could take this overnight into Monday. Look at it here. So, fantastic golden gap in Groupon. A great example of putting all the pieces of the puzzle together to read the chart correctly and the price to do the right thing. The trade in Groupon was a short today. And actually, I had a conversation with someone yesterday about shorting. If you know how to short well, which I do, you have an edge in your trading. Not many traders know how to short. Not many traders know how to short well. Even ones that do short do not know how to do it right. A lot of people do not feel comfortable shorting. And if you are able to short stocks and you also understand it and have conviction and can do it well, you actually have an edge in your trading. It's not a lot of things that a lot of people know how to do. The ones that even do it, the traders that short, don't all know how to do it well. I'm extremely good at what I do. Shorting is one of those things that gives me an edge. And if you learn how to trade from me, you will learn that edge to short stocks in the market because you'll know what things to short and when. And not that many people that are traders are shorting, but big institutions are selling. And so if you learn to short as a trader, you're going to ride, ride with that selling momentum, which happens with the institutions as a trader to the downside. So it really gives you an edge if you learn how to do it. I, I really have a niche in that regard. I don't know anyone that can short as well as me or as aggressively as me or with as much conviction as me. 
Why people love to go long and are more comfortable going long than going short, I'll, I don't understand it, quite frankly, because I just, just don't. But I know that it's a niche to be able to short well. I know that it can give you an edge if you want to learn how to do this to make money in the market. I know there's so much money to be made to the downside. And the edge comes from the fact that not that many traders know how to short well. Not that many traders know how to short. There's less traders shorting than there are that are going long. And when you're shorting, you're making money on the selling action from the institutions. And since there's not that many traders that do it or do it well, you can aggressively learn how to do it and make gobs of money on a consistent basis. This is Melissa with the StockSwoosh.com. The Golden Gap class is this weekend, February 22nd and 23rd. And the Wealth Manifestation class is Tuesday, February 25th. If anyone is interested in that course, it's $3.99. And you get one month free in the live trading room, which would be great for a lot of people to be in the room to take the trades, to take the calls. So if you're interested, email me at Melissa at the StockSwoosh.com. Thanks, everybody. Have a fantastic weekend.